So for, someone tell me the equation for income. What's the income going to equal? I is going to equal what? Anybody have it? Uh, Francis. 1.5 times the number of subscribers s. Good, I like that. What's the expenses equal to? Uh, yeah? Plus s. s plus what? 100. 100? Yeah. Excellent. So you want to know when you want to know when income equals expenses. So you want to know when i is equal to e. e. So that's going to be when 1.5 s is equal to s plus 100. So that's when 0.5 or a half s is equal to, I subtracted s from both sides. What's that going to make the right side? 100. So s will equal 200. So you know that they will break even. They will break even at 200. If they, if they have less than 200 subscribers, if they have less than 200 subscribers, will they make money? No, they won't make money. If they have exactly 200 subscribers, they they will make no money. And if they have more than 200 subscribers, they will. Ah, exactly. So what would this look like graphically? What would this look like graph? Expenses equals what? 100. And we can say x. And our income was right here. So that was income equals what? So what did we find? We used x, that's correct, x. So essentially, what were we finding for this question? Yep, the intersection. We we're looking at the intersection. The amount of money someone makes, what's another word for the amount of money someone makes? Yeah, profit is going to be equal to income minus what? Expenses. That's SES, right? And what was our income? Our income was 1.5 times x. And what were our expenses? S plus 100. So x, yeah, I'm using x, sorry. I'm going back and forth because I have to put an x. So what's 1.5x minus x? What is 1.5x minus x? 1 half x plus 100. So our profit is equal to what? 1.5x plus 100. And we were interested, where does that break even? Oh, it's minus 100. And that was when it's equal to, when x is equal to 200. Well, let's graph this. What, what are we graphing right there? We're actually graphing, which function is the profit up there? The first function or the second, the, not profit, which one's the income? The first. So watch this. Uh, let's see this, uh, sorry. Quit, y equals. The first, you agree the first function is the um, income? So the first function, minus what's the expenses y2 right let's graph this where should that cross oh where does it cross let's change the window a little bit y minimum let's change it to i don't know negative 200 just so you can see so there's what's that right there income expenses and where does this cross the where is that going to cross the x-axis right there where it, where does the, the the bottom line? What's that bottom line represent? Uh, the nope. The, the the function right there. This right here represents the what? We just graphed it. What is that? That's the profit. And we are interested when the profit becomes positive. We are specifically interested where the profit was zero. This was when x is equal to two hundred. Why is this negative right here? Why is it negative right there? Negative since what? Someone since what? Since the expenses are greater than the income. And then right here it's positive because what? The in yeah, because the expense, let's keep it in the same order. I like that because the expenses are less than the income. Right there. So this is what you did visually on a graph. This is what you did right here. This is what you did. The what I just did graphing, you're gonna have to be able to do yourself, and we will learn how to do that. Yes. That's the equation I wrote. 